Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday. I think today's Tuesday. That's right. Today's Tuesday, April 4th. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great morning so far. <clears throat> we are doing the simulcast with a Discord channel this morning as well. Uh, if you haven't followed me on Discord channel, make sure to do so. Okay, we have, you know, we have very small community, but we do a lot of activities. Okay, we have a lot of fun activities. So uh, feel free to join us. So this morning, we, ha we are going to make some Interesting coffee. By the way, so title say, can you brew filter, okay, filter roast coffee on espresso? Answer is yes, okay, because the uh, people ask me, who, what is good espresso blend? I mean, there's no such thing as espresso blend, okay? Uh, correct me, I'm wrong, guys. Uh, you can brew pretty much anything on your espresso. Doesn't matter, light roast, medium roast, dark roast. I mean, you can brew whatever you want to on your machine. But I know a lot of coffee shops out there that usually they tailor made to espresso, which means it all depends on the shop. Some specialty coffee shop, you know, they focus on the very dark, rich flavor, somewhat like Italian style. And there's some people like if you like, if you go to some other coffee shops, they have their own specialty blend for their uh, their coffee shop. So uh, okay, having said that Pretty much you can brew anything on your espresso. So this is a, uh, actually this coffee roast, Diego Bermudez. So this is a roast for filter coffee, okay? He did not say uh, I mean espresso, filter coffee. But the fact is, comes the tasting notes. Hold on, so what's the tasting note on this one? Hold on here, guys. Turkish Delight, Raspberry, and light say, okay? So it's not, it's not like traditional espresso. I mean, if you think of it as espresso, you want to be like dark chocolate, very dark chocolatey notes. But this is more like very bright, very light. It can be somewhat sweet as well. <clears throat> but we are going to brew that one this morning. Actually, it's about, yeah, it's about almost 11 o'clock. So I'm, I'm gonna measure out 18 gram here already. And then let's use the AK-43 as our grinder. So we're going to do something fun, okay? We're going to do something crazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do about 20 second blooming. So I'm going to be using my uh, Little Light Bianca. I'm going to go full power for like a couple seconds. I'm going to rest it for about, I'm going to shut it down. I'm going to rest it about 20 seconds. And then I'm going to turn back on and we're going to uh, brew the shot. I'm going to be doing about 1 to 2.5 to 3 ratio, so 18 gram in, around 50 to like 56 gram out. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Hold on. My phone is ringing, but I'm just going to, I think I'm going to get that later. Okay, so let's get going, okay? Let's get going here. So I got 18 gram already ready to go. Here we go, guys. I mean, talking about the power, okay? Man, it smells wonderful. I can definitely smell the raspberry. Wow, all right. You know what, I'm going to change the angle here so you guys can see better. Okay, hold on a second. Let's do this. By the way, I have this, no, this little notebook here. I mean, if you don't have it, I highly recommend it, okay? Just keep track of your recipes. So... In this case, you know what to change next time, okay? All right. So I'm going to be using my homemade WDT tool. You can look at the color, guys. It's very light, okay? Very extremely light. This is more like medium to light roast there. Just make sure nice and easy. Okay. 
I'm just going to type a little. Looks pretty good there. I'm just going to use my the force temper, okay? Let's use a force temper. Oops. First, I like to do is I like to do the initial distribution by just spin a few times. Now we have a perfectly level temp, okay? And then let's move over to my machine. All right. So I got my timer there as well. So we're going to be, I'm going to wait about 20 seconds. So uh, before I'm going to heat up my filter paper, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, shower screen. I got the screen on the top. Make sure I heat it up first, okay? Because you don't want to put the hot, uh, cold uh, metal on your, the, your puck. So puck screen there. Okay, I'm just gonna lock it in. So here's fun part, okay? I'm gonna go full power for about a couple seconds. And, and then I'm gonna shut the machine down. Okay, I'm gonna shut the machine. Uh, wait about 20 seconds, I'm gonna start finish the blooming process. There we go. That's it. I'm gonna turn on the machine for three seconds. I'm gonna start the time here. One, two, three, I'm gonna shut it down. And then I'm gonna go up to 25 seconds. About 22, yeah, 23 seconds. Right now we are doing the right now and then I turn back on. Kind of like turbo shot there. About fifty six gram. There we go. Yep, fifty six gram. So kind of like turbo. Since you are soaking, uh, you are uh, pre infused for such a long time, the puck is uh, nice and kind of like uh, wet, I guess. So water goes through a lot easily, you know, e easier, easier. Let's put it that way. So let's take a look. Again. Take a look at there. Uh, tasting notes, Turkish delights, raspberry, and uh, with a uh, light sea. Okay. Man, I can smell that light sea right now, guys. Wow. Smells wonderful. By the way, you're not gonna see a lot of crema, so. Uh, if you're um, if you're brewing espresso with a very light roast, you definitely now you're gonna see a lot of crown there. Look at the color as well; it's definitely a different color too. Very lighter color. All right, cheers, guys! Happy Tuesday. Okay. Wow. I can taste that raspberry. Very uh, very pronounced. Okay. Lightsy to the end. If you haven't tried this, kind of like Turbo Shop type, I highly recommend it. All right. I highly recommend it. So it tastes really good. Okay. Very nice. Goodness. You know what? I think I'm going <clears> to, <throat> next time I think what I'm going to do is I even go even longer. So we stop at like 56 grand, kind of like one to three ratio. I mean, I don't mind even go to like even 60 to 65 gram stretched out. So give you that even more kind of like clarity and tech, not the texture, but more flavor there. Sweet. 
the <coughs> it's not like sweet as like sugar sweet, but it's not sour either. Okay, comes to tasting no, you know, because I mean we know what bitter tastes like. Okay, and also we know what sour tastes like. So this is not right on the between. Very balanced, but kind of like eating like in a kind of like a raspberry, kind of like tart raspberry rather than sweet raspberry. Man, it's fantastic. I'm gonna big shout out to Ryan. Ryan gave me the recipe on this one this morning. Yeah, it's not bad, okay? By the way, if you're curious about the grinder setting on my EK43, I use it as a 0.8, okay? Point as my grinder setting there. It's almost done. Okay, it's very pleasant. Okay, very pleasant. By the way, I mean, this is kind of like, if you have the machine, okay, so it's, I mean, sooner or later, you are going to come up with your own recipe, okay? In the beginning, you follow the other people's recipe, kind of like one to two ratio, one to three. So you are going to play with that. Once times, you know, once times gone by, you start uh, feel comfortable with your machines. Uh, I, I'm, I want you guys to start experiment, okay? I know, shout out to uh, Rogan there. Uh, just play with the different recipes, okay? Uh, play with different dosing amounts, even water temperature, okay? Even grinder size. Just play with it and then sooner or later, you're gonna find the right combination. Uh, make sure to write it down, okay? Keep track of it, all right? Make sure to keep track of your, the recipe and then start tweaking. So I'm using, uh, again, uh, Richard, I'm using the 18 gram, okay? 18 gram is kind of like standard dose amount. So 18 gram, I like to use 18 there. By the way, you, you saw me with the puck screening a lot on my channel, okay? The reason why I like to use a puck screen, here, let me show you. This is why. Just dry puck, that's it. Okay, it's not gonna make your coffee taste any better, but uh, it's gonna ha have you know clean shower screen on my machine there. Definitely clean shower screen, so you know I don't have to clean as much. Okay, I don't have to clean as much. So, so I mean that's another uh, that's the only reason. Uh, let's see here. Lewis mentioned uh, just got Tanzanian pea berry, me uh, medium roast. Great in my lap of money today. Yeah, that sounds great. You know, uh, by the way, I do have a lap of money sitting on the corner, so maybe we should do that, okay? Maybe we should play with the lap of money today or tomorrow. I mean, the lap of money is so enjoyable to use, especially turbo shot. I think that's really good motion for that as well. Again, if you guys just joining us, uh, we just pulled a shot. So this is about 20 second pre-infusion. Since this is cooled down, bring out even more flavor. Man, this is a very nice recipe. I'm really enjoying this. Is that the best coffee I ever had now? By the way, speaking of a great coffee, I'm getting the, it's called Lightsey from Hatch Coffee uh, Roast in Canada, okay? So I should have, uh, we're gonna do some kind of like tasting vent on Discord channel, maybe in this weekend or next weekend, uh, should be a lot of fun there. I'm gonna put the link down below. And then this lychee, I think it, uh, this coffee won the my bracket challenge last year, last November. So that's the one, the my number one for the year. So this lychee is wonderful. Hopefully, I can, uh, we're gonna do the live demonstration when I get the uh, coffee end of this week. I mean, that's kind of like the mind-blowing coffee shop for me last year. So, uh, so I'm getting under the coffee this week. I'm not going to tell you the roaster yet, but tasting note, uh, tasting note is amazing. Uh, tangerine, uh, passion fruit, and also vanilla syrup. Okay. Anyway, uh, I think I have customer right now. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. I need to go back to work now. All right, see you guys next time. Hello.